That's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing else. There's nothing else going on. Like, what are you gonna do? Sit at home, beat your dick, or are you gonna watch Sea Forecast? Shut up and sit down. And we're back. See forecast here. Um, we're going to talk about first jobs or embarrassing jobs. I'm sure everybody in the world has has a story related to some embarrassing job you had as a teenager or growing up that uh, you were trying to make a little bit of money and or and or a job where uh, something absolutely crazy happened to. Um, I'm going to call up uh, Dean, Dean, the machine over there in the top corner. You got something juicy for this? Something good? Uh, yeah, we'll see how juicy it is, but. My first job, so I, I had two first jobs in college. The first one lasted not very long, but they were pretty much the same thing. Uh, and it was just the bitch boy job. Uh, the first one was at this like, like a farmer's, like a farmer's market, just like a grocery market place where they had a lot of produce and stuff. It wasn't really from a farm. I feel like it was just like second. So like a produce. farmer's stand? Yeah, like it's, a... it was it was like a produce stand. Um or they claimed it was so not Walmart. like a supermarket, like no Walmart type stuff, or it Kroger was like a giant, it was like a giant building that was just like a garage. <laughs> okay, was well, it a farmer's market? It wasn't a farmer's market, it was just like a produce stand, that's what I'll call it. Okay, it was mostly what, what kind of produce did they sell? Um, or you sold, were it. you a salesman? No, I was, I, I did whatever, any, whatever they needed me to do, which involved you know, could be picking through, like they would get like, le, like a second hand boxes of strawberries from out of nowhere and I would have to pick through I'll pick out all the good ones <laughs> and ba- like package those up and then that was what they would sell and I'd throw the rest the rest away. And, is this or the I mafia? could Yeah. It sounds <laughs> like, like the mafia. Dude, it was it was sketchy. I think they might have paid me like shout out like personal checks and stuff. Um Interesting. Like the start of the departed, dude. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. sure yeah, right. you were <laughs> being yeah. groomed. So like I quit there because it was minimum wage and like I could work at another place that was like it paid me 70 cents more, which was back then, which actually I don't think minimum wage has changed. Uh, but it was Probably like a 10 percent raise. <laughs> it was like a 10% raise. And yeah. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go over here, it's closer to home. And that's where the that's my real first job I like to talk about. And the what I put on my application, because my friend told me to, was chicken boy. Um is, there's n- nothing to do with chickens. What? Like, what, yeah. wait, why, why? Why did he tell you to do that? Uh, I was an inside joke, I guess, and they they appreciated it and they liked it, so they hired me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Got a job, and yeah, so I'm, I was chicken boy. It's really just another bitch boy job, uh, where I think there was four things I had to do uh, as my first job for like I don't know my first year there. Um, that was like take out all the trash, um, do all the dishes restock all the things and then mop all the floors okay so what what establishment was this it was was it, was it kfc I, no it was an italian deli okay um, and god they to, i love that place so That's you cool. went from like the departed at the uh farmer's Fake market Fake departed to real departed to like you know the uh the godfather so to speak right uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes Interesting. The Godfather, the Godfather, by the way, is their very best sub, and I get it every time I go home. They actually have a sub called many the Godfather. Deli meats from them? Yeah, it's just an Italian cold cup, but they put it in the oven. And they mm-hmm. kind of, they actually, they they now grill the meat, uh, like they slight, they lightly grill like the uh, the ham, salami, and Genoa, Genoa, uh, uh, no, capicola. I don't. I'm not Italian anymore. Uh, <laughs> anymore. Yeah, it was peppered ham. No longer Italian. Genoa salami and uh, ham capi were the three meats. And I actually, when I made this for myself there, I would grill the meats and mm-hmm. make that, and just put that on my own sub. And they liked that idea so much, they started mm-hmm. doing it. But they didn't start doing it until after I quit. Uh, and I was there for like four years. I don't uh, know why. So they did that yeah. on purpose then, so that way. They got to uh, start calling like, it the Dean. The Dean. Dean, Dean. Dean. Yeah. All right, we're going to have all our fans try to uh, petition them to have a sandwich named after Dean the Machine. So. Yeah. You oh, got to go get some, go get some friggin' royalties from that, man. Yeah. Yeah. They would probably do it. So you were there four years. So when, when did you start working there? I want to say they're, they're going to end up calling it the Chicken Boy, though, and you're going to be like, <laughs> "God damn it!" <laughs> They'll have a meatball sub, and instead of meatballs, it'll be chicken. It'll be called the Chicken Boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they have meatball subs too. Oh, they were so good. Sorry, everything was just great. Uh, so, so yeah, what- I started there between I think it was I want to say between sophomore and junior year of high school. Okay. Uh, it was as soon as I could start working, I got a job. Uh, yeah, I was the same way. I got a job like ASAP. 
and then I, I quit or I moved from like the farm the produce stand pretty quickly just because more money yeah uh, and so you, yeah so you did that starting in high school and then you were there for a first year or two of college I guess too on the summers and whatnot or so well yeah I did like a year and a half of a community college and I worked okay full time while I did that and then once I went to Maryland it was I would come back and work like one of the summers and then I quit like pretty much right right when I went to Maryland yeah um, so, so I had the interview go do you remember yeah, uh, they, they had me come in. I, the guy was behind the counter. I was in front of the counter, and maybe or no, we maybe like sat at a table. And he's like, he asked me some like, I don't, I don't remember what it was like, but they just asked me like general questions, like, can you take out the trash? Do you mind <laughs> you know, like, doing dishes and just you know doing grunt work and maybe just a personality question, just to make sure I would I could hang because they were serious shit talkers there. Oh, it was. It oh, was really? Close. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever they noticed where like I take my shit talking way far way too far all the time <laughs> yeah well i don't notice because i take it even further but but yeah uh it's it's because of the conditioning from working at this place now were they italian people that were working there or there was one guy he was real italian okay um, he like, like he barely spoke english kind of italian um, like fresh he, off the boat yeah and Got yeah it. he just had he had that that real italian mm-hmm. face you know that, that big old man body or like you know and was he the cook no, he just kind of did whatever. He just he oh. made people sandwiches and. Did he wear food. like a white beater undershirt, like tucked in, and that was it? With a gold chain, like, black dickies, or whatever. Chester. There, he Chester was too big. He was, he was too big for that. He, um, I'm sure he did. Um, <laughs> yeah, that 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 white mane hair. Oh, it was glorious. And that giant nose, and you just did he wear bowling hair. shirts a lot? No, we had a, we had like a polo for the for the place. Okay, uh, shirts that they would supply us, um, and. But yeah, he, you, he like every time he talked to a woman, you could tell he was trying to have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, like if she worked there or if she was a customer, every single one. It was, and it was like, it was cool though. It was like everyone, the way he did it was so suave. It was just, he just, oh, had really? it just, yeah, he just had that, that, that appeal. The, the, man, was, the man had no age limit either, whether it was 18 I mean, to 99 we, plus, we grandma. Every, yeah, he was like sweet talking every, every girl that came his way. Uh, <laughs> And everyone loved it. And it goes, I guess when you're an old man like that, like people don't like take you. I would say, I guess if he, the only way you could take it too far is if he like got hands here or something. Yeah. But, which you're not gonna be able to do in a deli, right? Like he's behind some tall glass. Well, I mean, thing, coworkers. Right. And oh, well. there were lots of coworkers that hooked up. Uh, wait, 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 so I'm confused. It's a sandwich shop. So like how many people work there? Like I'm thinking like three or four, maybe. Wait, did did well, the chicken I, boy get any action? I don't think I did. <laughs> I really should have. I should have made a move. I was just like a nervous high school kid, I guess. But yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't think I did. That's probably why they call them Chicken Boys. So That's who is who is the most? No, uh, there, were, there were multiple Chicken Boys. Who is Actually, who is who is the most? Um, uh, how do you say it? Who, who got the most tail? Or somebody else? No. Uh, he dated like seriously and also hooked up with half the girls there. It was okay. Kind of fun. As, I don't know. So help me help me understand like what this sandwich shop looks like because like I hear sandwich shop I think like fucking Subway so there's like three people there's like the bread guy the cashier guy and the guy that like you know puts the sandwiches together so yeah yeah there's a cashier and then there's people working the food there's like two food stations and there's like sandwiches or like then there's like a chef in the back uh, and like the people who make a food might go to the back to use the grill um, or and you in the back was also where the dishes were so chicken boy was there a lot. And so if, if it would be chef, chicken boy in the back, maybe one of the food people and the food people would be more up front taking orders and making food. And the cashier would also be processing orders and stuff like that. Gotcha. So at any time, at any one time, you'd maybe have like four or five people there, but you had like multiple shifts of four or five people that would probably. Yeah, it's just like two right? shifts maybe. Yeah. Like All right. You need to, you need to clarify what you're talking about when you reference chicken boy, because it's, it's got it just, me. It doesn't mean anything to have to do with chickens. We, we there's chicken on the menu, but that's I don't. I'm sorry, I misled you guys. <laughs> it was just bitch boy. <laughs> bitch, it, we couldn't put bitch boy on the on the application, so we put chicken boy. Uh, so when you say that the chicken boy's in the back, that just means you're scrubbing and yeah, yeah. It was bad. Like I, when I first started there, they would have this giant mound of tr- like full trash bags that they would instead of taking out, like there was another 15, 20 yards to the dumpster. Uh-huh. They would just put it right outside of the door and just make a stack of them there all day long until the chicken boy got there, which was generally after high school, high school let out uh, because chicken boys were always the new, the new guys who were in school still. Yeah. Uh, 
And so they just, I had to just take out this giant mound of trash bags that were just marinating on each other. And half the time they, like, they would be ripping and like, you had to like run to the tra- the dumpster and like toss them in and hope it didn't break. And you know, while like, <laughs> juices are flying everywhere and they were so heavy, so insanely heavy because they were just like solid meat, liquid material. Uh, and these are like giant 20 gallon trash bags, like industrial trash bags. Yeah. And there are, and uh, even those bags are, are, are potentially busting at the seams, right? Yeah. So. Even if they double, they, they had, they eventually started double bagging them, I think. <laughs> Um, See, I, was, still, line, I was I was still hoping you'd tell me you wore like a chicken suit or something, you know, like a KFC. Dude, that's what I was expecting with the chicken <laughs> boy. I thought you were like I thought you were like one of the street like advertising dancers. So this, for, like, the side flippers? Yeah. I, I thought he fried chicken. I thought he was a, a fry cook or some fry shit. Cook, yeah. I was expecting Dean to be a sign tosser dressed up in a chicken outfit. <laughs> I would do that right now. Did the deli have a sign tosser? That should you should have you should have gotten a promotion to that. No, no. that'd be too perfect. They're they're well known enough that they have a reputation. Uh, So 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 I want to circle back to this uh, hookup culture at a at a at a so called subway shop. That's just interesting to me. Like, was there any like worker tension because of it? Like, when certain people were on shifts with each other or. It's been a while. So a subway shop hookup culture at a subway shop. You're talking about like Jared from yeah, subway. Dude. Oh, exactly. God. Yeah, a little bit. I think oh, there no. was. I kind of don't remember like all the the juicy details because it was probably so common and like it would happen instantaneously and people would like if there was any tension they just wouldn't talk to each other at work. And they would just kind of keep working and you could feel it and you would have to deal with it, but like. It wasn't anything serious. It really like blew up and like in front of customers. So no one had like a meltdown in the back nah, or something like that. Nah, but that's, like that's pretty. I like I, I remember there was like this two people. There's a guy and a girl. He worked when I was first there. And then they stopped with him pretty soon after. Uh, but I ran into like the guy like after like years later, and he's like, "Oh, dude, I used to bang all the time downstairs in the basement." I'm like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> what?" So you had uh, working there. Any other crazy, interesting people working there besides uh, him? <laughs> Yeah, there were some guys that were just very. You could imagine like barely graduated high school, huge shit talkers, uh, just real aggressive into heavy metal kind of people, shaved heads, and like I don't think I don't think I'm going down to like this white supremacist description. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. They're not like that. But it was just they. There was this degenerate like you know blue very blue collar esque personality with huge shit talk personalities um and there was a couple of them and some of them were really good artists too which was cool and they we, Wait, like artists like musical artists or artists in like painting they, or they, whatever. they had no yeah they had this this natural talent for like drawing and painting, yeah or, like, creating okay. depictions of things um so we had this this sort of like weird like closet bathroom in the basement um that was, it was the weirdest bathroom I've ever seen before. There was like a pipe going through the middle of it, but they still had a toilet there and like a sink stood up um, and it was the men's room. Um, and it was just covered in like pornography and uh, <laughs> just drawings on the walls or like, I don't want to say poems, but probably just like more like poetic threats against each other's lives. Um, <laughs> yeah. So like, it's my- like a seedy New York subway bathroom essentially inside of this restaurant. Yeah, that yeah exactly. And my favorite aspect of this was so it was there was a giant like it was like a black pvc pipe that went across and yeah. on one end they put a giant like body size not quite body sized um uh, picture of like put a whole bunch of piece of paper and they drew this picture of like the biggest fattest cashier lady on it bent over just taking the bent over taking the pvc pipe like it's a big black dick and <laughs> it was so just ah <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. We got to clarify. Is this the employee's bathroom or like the general bathroom for the general <laughs> no, the employee's oh, bathroom? So the basement was where they stored every, all like the, the supplies and stuff. And like tucked yeah. in the back of it was this little closet bathroom. And it was covered in this crazy like pornography. And like there, oh yeah, there was like, it was like a giant stack of Playboys or whatever. It was, oh man, I don't even think I've seen a Playboy in forever. It's been See, so that's long. why, that's why years. Dean never had sex with anyone there. <laughs> I'm yeah, thinking of getting his nut. He's looking at, he's looking at the cashier yeah. lady with a playboy in his head like oh yeah dude she was no she was like 250 300 pounds all fat 
and this is where he got that. his affinity for big women <laughs> i think eventually the uh the bigger cashier lady did venture down there and she saw it and she was like and she oh whoa, 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 whoa. back up a second so the, so this imp- imp- depiction is of the cashier lady that actually worked there not like of some oh, generic yeah. lady oh, oh yeah. my oh, god oh, that yeah. makes it that makes it even better uh, her name was oh. So oh. hold on, on a scale of one to ten of realism, <laughs> like how accurate was this drawing of this? Woman? I don't know it was like cartoonish. Yeah, uh, but, but like I mean, it, it was it was an, you would appreciate it. it was like you can you can tell if you worked yes. there and seen her, you could go look at the artwork and say, "Yep, that that's oh, a yeah. match." Right? Yeah, yeah. And also had her name written on it too. So <laughs> yeah. the- she was the. I mean, she was quite clearly the only person that would fit that picture. <laughs> so wait, was this there when you like started working there? Or did they like design this while you were there? Yeah, while I was there. It was created like probably within like a year or two and it lasted like a good another year or two on that wall. And did she ever find um, out? I think she eventually did. And then between that and like multiple like complaints here and there over like an, a solid year or six months, it got taken down because it got aggressive. Also, I pissed off this one dude who was a, a solid contributor down there and he put like, he like drew me with like acne and like a little dick and like put like a crosshair on my head. Like I was gonna like, like a gun crosshair, and oh, I think that was among the uh, the things that required them to take it down. Oh wow, but that's that's. I insane. didn't complain. I didn't complain. Yeah, but no, I, dude, I that's kind of- that's incredible though. I had no idea when you told this that it was like actually meant to be the cashier lady behind the cashier or whatever at the actual. He was, he was like, it. "Screw you! I'll beat off to this too." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's lots of jokes about me in particular jerking off down there, so you're not the first ones to get that impression. Well, I mean, what else is a 16 year old, 17 year old kid going to do? We it's know it happens. What happens. I mean, there's Playboys there too. Ah, chicken <laughs> boys at it again. <laughs> <laughs> chicken yeah. boys marinating the chicken. But I did eventually um, promote to the non chicken boy role. I eventually started making sandwiches and stuff like that. All right, so so did you get chicken a chicken man? You'd be yeah. from chicken I mean, boy. I, one then, day you become a chicken man. From the depths of the basement employee bathroom arose from the ashes was a chicken boy that was turned into chicken man. That's <laughs> that's what did it. Was was that that drive? You know, oh, man. he cranked that one really good one and was like, "I'm a man now." I'm looking. I'm just envisioning <laughs> South Park with Randy Marsh in that one scene that's in the trailer. With a, with no, the he banged. That's what did. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh what, no that's how you become a man it's kind of you know out. honestly i feel like this could easily be like one of those like shitty comedy central like movies or whatever you know dude i wish there's so many crazy things there i'm sure i don't remember so so a sandwich maker um did anybody like berate your sandwich making skills or like did a customer come back and say this is this is shit or garbage or something never, else for a never a customer just fellow workers oh <laughs> Uh, that but, makes that makes. I mean, obviously, the coworkers are going to give you give you shit. Being a I did, I did have the chance to practice on making my own subs for a while before they allowed me to take. That's why they put that crosshair yeah. on Dean's head? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you fucked up the sandwich, chicken boy. <laughs> was it all like pre-made menu items, or did you have to uh, like? You can so yeah. There's tons of uh, pre-made uh, pre-made subs, and you can customize from there, or you can just create a custom sub, which was the least uh, money if it money wise efficient way to do it <laughs> but uh, interesting so it's basically like a subway setup and you were just throwing shit on subs yeah but everything is uh better quality it's, it's definitely way more expensive as well uh, but yeah it's an authentic mom and pop style yeah they imported food. stuff from italy and yeah whatnot. authentic mom and pop style all the way down to playing grab ass in the hallway <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is crazy this, this is great yeah, one of my favorite one of my favorite characters there was the chef. He was the father in law to one of the owners, who was like a co owner place, and he was he was from Jersey, and he was just one of the biggest shit talkers. He'd been a chef like his whole life, clearly. Okay. And he, he, I don't know. All I can just remember was every time he saw me, and he's like, "What's up, you little pussy faggot?" And like, it, it's, that's all he would say. He just could <laughs> not talk shit. Jesus. Yeah. No. Like it was great. I mean, I would call him a bald ass, like dumb, dumb fuck bitch. I like. I don't know. It was. It was great. We had a nice, safe relationship. It was very healthy. <laughs> we had a healthy relationship. We called yeah, each other that names. Is, that is aggressive, man. That is yeah, aggressive so like, shit talking right there, dude. No, dude that's was, actually rude. that's some of the funniest stuff. I feel yeah. like is when like you get foreigners. Who don't know how to curse, but they're trying to like curse and play with you, but then they just go like way too hard. Like, <laughs> hey, fuck your mother and the asshole last night. Like Yeah. So he 
wasn't for him, oh. but he was from Jersey, so it's effectively the same. He was a legit chef. Yeah. He, uh, he knew what he was doing. Um, no. Like, no. The fuckboy Italian foreigner. <laughs> fuckboy Italian. No, yeah, you, you could tell. All he cared about was just chilling and fucking. <laughs> Literally, those Kudos to him. Dude, he, he lived the life. Someone's got to do it. I mean, <laughs> if you ever go to Italy, you kind of get the feeling like that is the standard. People just chill and try and fuck. Yeah, I, I, I don't doubt that, right? Dude, Italy was dope. Yeah, yeah I want to go back. I wouldn't want to work there. It's a, it seems like a terrible place to work, but just to chill and hang out and fuck, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh. Dude, I would live there. Dude, hell yeah. I'm just imagining. Uh, I don't think they want us to live there. Like, <laughs> you and I, given our experience there. They were Fucking like, Americans. <laughs> Fucking Fuck. pizza! I just, I just, I just see Jason Dean getting off the plane, like you know, in Milan somewhere, and they go through like to get their passport snapped. They're like, "What are you here for?" And Dean's like, "I'm here to chill and fuck." <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, "You're approved." Stamps the fucking thing and moves on. Next. <laughs> that could actually happen. Dean you? Going. What about you? No, I'm just. Just here to eat. Yes. I'm here to eat some pizza. I'm, and chill. Eat and I'm, and <laughs> I'm here to chill. Come on eat. in. Come on in. Support him. Support my man. Chill and fun. <laughs> I'm his Stay wingman. Bad. I'm the wingman of Chicken Boy. They're like approved, and you just get, get right through. Oh yeah, Chicken Boy. We got, we got lots of those here, <laughs> dude. That was the perfect. That was a perfect example of like a foreigner who like tried to cuss with us, who like went over the top. Was right. the Italian dude at the restaurant? We, so Johnny meets up with us when we get to Italy, and like we're just walking along the street trying to find restaurants to eat at, and they're like hanging out outside trying to like bring you in. And this one waiter, we're just like, so like, you guys got pizza? And he's like, fucking pizza. And we're like, all right, um, you guys got pasta? And he's a like, fucking pasta. And we're just like, and he's like walks, he like turns, he starts walking away. And we're like, all right, we're gonna. We ask him what he has. Like, what do you have? And he's like, "Yeah, the sandwiches." <laughs> We're gonna get going. <laughs> Interesting. So, so yeah. that's how you got your your, your start into the uh, the uh, United States workforce was uh, being chicken boy in a deli restaurant in yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, great time. Yeah. Where you learned you learned the ways of going from becoming a boy to a man. Might yeah. have been a little bit of mental trauma along the way. But uh, look where you are now. You're on a C forecast. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. You made it. <laughs> I made it. 